What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing Naruto Drip, Supreme Drip. So I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil and eraser, sketch it out lightly, try to have fun. You can always do ink on top of pencil, it's hard to erase ink, so I recommend pencils for these. Landscape page, let's go. Center point, about here, up over to the right. Let me start with his top eyelid. Little curves up and down, so big curved eyelids in this one, right? And in Naruto, they like to add this little spike at the back. Like so. You can thicken up the top eyelid a little bit. Like that. Bottom eyelid, simple enough, just like a curved line just here. Iris, so a circle coming down from the top eye, lid line. Like so. And then pupil. in the middle. His eyebrow goes up underneath his headband, right? So it just like ticks here. Like up this way, right? So you can barely see. You can probably see about half of it, should I say. And then it just goes up there. So it stops just underneath his headband there somewhere. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Right, so the other eye measures eye that will fit in between his two deer ducts, tear ducts. So this eye will fit in here. <coughs> Excuse me, cough. And that's where the next eye starts. And it curves over again. Down like so. Then we have this little hook at the back. And then just thicken up the middle of the eyelid. Just add a bit of extra to it. Bottom eyelid line, just underneath, like so. And then his iris and his pupil. Iris, just a circle coming down. And his pupil, circle in the middle. And then just fix things up a little bit. Eyebrow, so again, goes underneath, tick, goes underneath, right close to the top of the eye, goes underneath his headband, disappears underneath it, so it just kind of stops there. So we'll draw his, that pupil is a bit bigger than this one, so I'm just gonna make him the same size. Okay, so headband will come across here, right? So you just do this curved line going across the eyebrows. Just reaches like the top of his ears. And then his sideburns sort of hang down here. Okay. Nose then, so just two nostrils down here. In general, your nostrils are halfway between your eyes and your chin, like your, the top of his eyes there, to where his chin will be, proportion-wise. His mouth just below the nose. So you could do it mouth closed if you want. You know, you could just do standard sort of Naruto mouth, but we'll open it up and give him some teeth. Right, and just a little bit of teeth inside here. And his bottom lip, a bit of a shadow, and then his chin. So again, here to here, that'll bring you to like your chin. So eyes to nose, about the same as nose to chin. And he's got a relatively square enough, almost square enough chin. Okay. So then jaw gradually sort of curves up towards the sideburn here. Same on this side. Like that. And then he has his cheek marks. I sometimes forget to draw these. I know. How could you forget Naruto's whiskers? I have. 
in the past. You know, there's a little nose line there, actually. Okay, so his ears just come out from the headband down into there. Like so. And then this line. Ear lines, easiest way is always just this letter J, right? You want you leave it like that, or you can add more detail. Like so. Okay, so his headband is supreme. It's not like the ninja headband. And he's got oh he's got a bit more hair sticking down behind his cheeks here. I'll draw them in before we do the headband. Okay, so what can we see? So we can see like his head, the edge of the headband is kind of covered with hair. So we'll just add some like hair spikes here first, right? You could draw the headband first if you want to, but just because it's covered, the headband comes up the side there, right? And then this comes across. And the Supreme is written, but we'll do all the lettering at the same time. So we have hair spikes, just typical Naruto up and down spikes going around his head. Like so. Right, we'll go down now. So his neck just here. So we've got, you can see the side of his neck. And then sort of neck muscles going this way. And then he, so he's wearing a hoodie, right? So it kind of bumps out here. And it bumps down across his neck this way. All right, so the other side comes out from here. Okay. He's got like a white t-shirt on inside there. Maybe like the inside of the hoodie or something here. Okay, so the bumpy side of the hoodie. Like so, and we have the strap, you know, the What would you call them? The holes for the things that sort of tie your hoodie together. These just cords that tighten the hoodie. Okay, and then these will just close. Sort of like that, right? Doop. Right, and then shoulders come out down this way. Out down here. It's like one is like lifted up a little bit. And then like full lines all for his clothing. Like so. And he's got a necklace with like a like an Uzi hanging or something. And then Supreme box written here. So the necklace is like silver, but I'll just draw it in black because I have a black pen. And it wouldn't make sense otherwise you wouldn't see it. So just coming out from behind, you can draw this line any old way now. Coming out from behind his neck. Okay, and then the Uzi sort of here. And then I think I'll just color it black just so we can see it. It is like like shiny silver, but I'll just color it. Color it in black. Just so you can make it the shape. And I can change it to silver after if I want. Or I can just leave it black. I'll just thicken up this cord.
right and then the box just the red box here Okay, and then we just write supreme here i'll start with the big one so i'll start with the you can't really see the s right so i'll start with the u and i'll add a bit of the um s that we can see so just go like down just this capital lettering you might need a stencil if you want you know you can use a stencil Right, and then you can see like a little bit of the E and Okay, and then the S. You can just see a little bit of it. Okay, and then you can see like smaller lettering down here. I might have to do this in black because it's really small. Um, and you could do it in white if you wanted. We can change it to white afterwards. So, go here. Supreme E. Yeah, okay, so letters are hard, but um, you could stencil it if you wanted. Um, but there we go. Naruto, drip. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.